Hi everyone, I'm just going to do a quick recap of this because it's so important and it's so easy to screw up. A lot of students mess up and then they it haunts them for the rest of the quarter and it even haunts them into the following classes. So I really want you to have a good foundation of this. So some of you who are already comfortable with it, you probably don't need to watch this, but in case that you start missing problems like this, it might be helpful later. Okay, first thing is, like I said, uh, you might want to know, I may have said in class, you might want to know, get a sense of which of these prefixes represent bigger units and which of these prefixes uh, refer to smaller units. And by bigger and smaller, I mean positive exponents or po positive powers of 10 and negative powers of 10. So um, first, I would just get a sense of that. Like if I hear giga, I know that's a big unit. If I hear micro, I know that's a small unit. So just, just get a sense of that first. Then start learning the actual numbers. Tera is 10 to the 12. Giga is 10 to the 9. So just start learning those. Um, and I don't want, really like writing all these zeros out, so I like the exponent form for some of these. Um, and then centi, um, milli, micro, etc. Just start learning that they're negative 2, 10 to the negative 3, 10 to the negative 6. Just start learning those numbers. Um, and then this is what we call it as well. And you'll also want to be familiar with the decimal format, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. Sometimes we use that. Now, in this page, um, we, I want to point out this correction again, 10 to the 12 and 10 to the minus 12, just a typo on our part. OK. Now, um, I'm going to introduce to you, I think I already mentioned uh, that the Terra meter, so when you have a prefix, you can just substitute it in. So one Terra meter is 10 to the 12, because that's what Terra means, meters. So I'm just using substitution. When you invert it and you set this equal to 1, then you're effectively um, dividing both sides by 10 to the 12. So that's why we get 10 to the minus 12 here. What I want you to do, though, is I want you to eventually develop an intuitive feel for this. So in other words, like the next problem, giga. OK, so I did my homework, and I know giga means 10 to the 9. So I could just fill that in. But I also want to be able to make sure it makes sense. I want to think about it physically. You know, if I have giga, and giga is a pretty big unit, let's say giga is that, and I have m meter, a giga gigameter versus a meter, and a meter is small compared to a gigameter. And I'm saying I have one of these big units. How many of these small units do I have? I have to have a lot of them, right, to reach all the way across. So that's why this number is so big. When you flip the statement, one meter is how much of a gigameter, then you're asking how much of this, how much of this is represented by that? So it's just a fraction of it, right? So it's got to be a small, small, small portion of this bigger unit. So that's why one of these units, these small ones, represents a very small fraction. It has to be 1 to the minus 9 because it's the inverse of 10 to the 9. So want, that brings me to something we call the big-small method. So what I do for that is I say, OK, giga versus, gigameter versus meter. This is my bigger unit, and this is my smaller unit. I know that the answer has to be either 10 to the 9 or 10 to the minus 9, depending on how the question is phrased. How to, to know which one is that I know the small number has to go with the big unit, and the big number has to go with the small unit. That's because they have to balance out. They're an equality statement. So for example, mega. Mega means 10 to the 6. But sometimes I might use 10 to the minus 6, depending on if the question is flipped or not, right? So I look at the bigger unit, and I smaller number with the bigger unit. So I know the bigger number has to go with this smaller unit. The bigger number is 10 to the 6. So in order for that to balance out and equal each other, it, it's got to be 10 to the 6, not 10 to the minus 6. OK, when we flip it, then it should also work. This unit meter is smaller than a megameter. This is bigger. 
And so I need the smaller number with the bigger unit. This is where I'll use 10 to the minus 6. Even though mega means 10 to the 6, because the number 1 is over on this side, I flipped this statement, I have to invert that number. So I know whenever I see mega, I'm going to use 10 to the 6, but it's possible I might use 10 to the minus 6 because the statement might be inverted. I hope that makes sense. So try, that, try the big small method and see if that works for you. I want to point out a couple of other things here. Number four, um, what they mean here is the base unit for a centimeter is a meter. So they want to know how many base units are there in one centimeter. So you can use substitution here, 10 to the minus 2. You could also use the big small method if you want. We'll practice that some more. Here they just want to know what is that. That's a kilo. Kilo means a thousand. And then down here, you might want to convert this to scientific notation and then fill it in. So this is, uh, 4.6 is just 4.6, but this number is what prefix? That is called a milli. That's 10 to the minus 3. So 4.6 milligrams. Here you just need to circle the bigger unit. And again, you can use substitution unless you have a good feel for these units already. Here's my bigger unit. And the last part here, this is what we're working toward. You, you want a familiarity and comfort with doing these. So again, this is where I might use big small method one more time. I'll say liter is my bigger unit. Milliliter is my smaller unit. I know milli means 10 to the minus 3, but if the question's inverted, I might use 10 to the 3. And to know which one, I want my bigger unit, bigger number with my smaller unit. So here's the number, here's the smaller unit, I want the bigger number with the smaller unit. Big small equals small big, okay? So big small equals small big. So uh, that's how they balance each other out. All right, well, give these a try, and let me know if you have any questions.